What's up guys? So today, because I can't leave anything alone and because you guys were nice enough to ask for it, we're gonna be doing a brake upgrade on the 05. Okay, so the reason why we're doing a brake upgrade on the 05, when you get towards the end of that generation of W body, the Grand Prix have very similar brakes, if not exactly the same brakes as the previous generation. Big cast iron, single piston caliper, the rotors aren't really any bigger. It's, it's a little dated, but around that same generation towards the like end of the 2010s, that area, the Buick and Chevy W bodies, being the Impala and at that point the LaCrosse, both got brake upgrades. Even the base models in those have dual piston calipers, so that's an easy retrofit over to the Grand Prix, which did not get that brake upgrade in that generation. However, I did find along the way that this is not exactly as easy as I thought it was going to be, and I'll explain why. But first of all, I went and got the calipers and brackets for this from a junkyard. Everything should bolt up, so I didn't need any like custom stuff there, but I don't like using pads and rotors from junkyards because you don't ever know what condition they're in or anything. So I got the calipers, I went to the you know local parts place and went to look up parts, and then I found that there are some variations. If you look in the 08, 09, 2010 area of W bodies, looking at LaCrosse's and Impala's, you will find there are two brake setups. However, in the parts catalog, it actually showed even a third one, but I don't know that that might be a mistype. But under the LaCrosse, depending on which engine you look up, you will find what lists as like a 296 millimeter diameter rotor. And then you'll find something that lists as, I believe, a 323 millimeter rotor. If you look up the Impala, what you'll get is a 303 millimeter rotor versus the police package version, which is standard on the SS, which has the 323 millimeter rotor. So as far as the 296 thing, I don't know if that's a typo or if the Buick just got a very, very slightly smaller rotor. I'm not really sure. But one thing that I did notice along the way, one of these brake setups, namely the smaller one, the 303 millimeter rotor, is specifically designed for 16 inch wheels. So it is smaller than the 323 millimeter rotor setup is designed for 17 inch wheels. However, apart from one casting difference, it would appear that the calipers for both setups are exactly the same. But on the back of the caliper, and this is useful if you're in a junkyard trying to figure out which setup you're looking at, on the back of the caliper, it will actually say 16 inches or 17 inches. Now, like I said, the calipers, other than being casted 16 and 17, as far as I can tell, are exactly the same and the brake pads are exactly the same, except for there is a police package specific pad, but I'm pretty sure they should retrofit between the two. They are the same shape, they are the same size. The only thing I can figure is more than likely the police package specific pads are a heavier duty compound since they're gonna be used in fleet and police applications. So good and bad news about this, one, I did grab calipers and brackets for the 16 inch setup, which is good because my 05 has 16 inch wheels on it. And I don't know that the 17 inch setup will fit under 16s. I assume they won't. Good news though, looking at all the parts, the rotors are different. The caliper brackets are different, but the calipers and the pads are the same or at very least close enough that they will swap. What this means is if you have 16 inch wheels and you want to do the dual piston upgrade, you can do the entire 16 inch set. And then later, 
if you buy 17 inch wheels, rather than have to buy everything all over and having to bleed the brakes again, you can actually put just the caliper brackets and the rotors from the 17 inch set on there and end up with larger rotors too. So it's like, it's almost like a stepped upgrade. You can actually continue to upgrade it beyond the first swap. So that's all the information I got there. I did already grab all the parts, we have it here, so now we're going to get out to the car and I will show you what we're going to do and we'll uh, get it all together. Okay, so let's go over some of the parts here. This is the rotor, the pad set we went with. We have calipers with their matching brackets. There's the factory stuff. And with the pads, we did go with the police spec ones and we went with the C-Max, which is like AutoZone's uh, highest end stuff. Okay, so we're down here with the 05, ready to get this thing put together. Basically, this is pretty simple. The way I like to do this is I always take the caliper loose from the hose last because you don't want any more air in this line than we absolutely have to have. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the caliper bracket bolts. We're gonna pull this caliper off and then this rotor will just slip right off and then we'll start checking this stuff. Here we will have a quick comparison of a couple of these parts. This is the stock 05 pad setup. Let's show it next to the other pads. As you can see, they're about the same thickness, but they are a little longer. You do have some more contact patch, which is good. Here's the stock caliper, a single piston unit versus the dual piston unit that it will be upgrading to. And then here are the two rotors, which are very similar. Uh, this is a just, I mean, that much taller, but other than that, very, very similar. And then as far as part quality, if you look at this, these veins are very big, but the metal on the sides here is pretty thin versus these, the vein area is a little smaller, but a lot more metal. So these should be more durable than what I had on there. Now these are gonna bolt up using the same two 15 millimeter bolts that these came off with. So there is no modification as far as that goes with this setup. The only thing that you will have to do is if you notice the placement of the bleeder screws, when you move this hose over to here, the hose is gonna try to go straight up into this. But I found you can snug this down and then bend that over a little without breaking it and be perfectly fine so that's not really a very big deal so then at this point we've got the pads test fitted as you can see here they come right to the edge of the rotor which looks good like it's supposed to i've got where they contact the caliper bracket lubed on both sides and we have pulled the slide pins out made sure that they are free and moving and lubricated them so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and actually mount this caliper, but I gotta finish compressing it first. And then once that's mounted, we'll swap the hose over. The next step here is we're gonna just move this hose over to here. I'm gonna use the bleeder screw that came with the caliper because just in case there is any difference in the caliper, I just don't wanna have to deal with that. But we're gonna move this as quick as we can because the faster we get this moved over, the less fluid that we lose and the less air we'll have to bleed out. So we're going to very quickly pop this old bleeder screw loose. It's gonna start leaking right away. We're gonna go ahead and set this caliper out of the way. We're gonna retrieve these O-rings off of this, move the ones that we need to over to the new bleeder right here. Then we're just going to take this, make sure that there's one and only one on each side of the hose like this. And then it's gonna sit right in here and tighten down. The only other small issue is the uh, way this hose is made versus where the bleeder screw is, but you can slightly bend this steel line back just to give you a little bit of bleeder space. Just don't go crazy bending it because you don't want to run a risk on cracking it. Then you're just going to snug 
that bolt down decently to where it's good and snug so that you don't have any leaks. And that's it. And here you have the finished product. That's where you had to bend the hose. All I really did is it wanted to lay sort of right up against this. All I really had to do was just put something between it and tweak it a little bit outward and it fit just fine. Other than that, as you can see, the setup fits the hub just fine. Good caliper clearance, everything looks good here. I've got to bleed it. Then we're gonna put the wheel on and make sure that fits good. And then we'll just do the other side. And this is the final product. As you can see, it fits under these stock 16s just fine. Fills them out a little bit more. Now we just gotta get the other side done and bled and we will go see the real question, which is, are these better? Okay, so we are on to the second side, which I'm gonna do all together here in a second. But just a recap, because I think I lost some footage from doing the other side. The procedure, as I mentioned, we're taking these two 15 millimeters out, sitting this out of the way, pulling this rotor off, new rotor on, one lug nut to hold it. We're gonna mount the bridge for the other one. Pads, lube everything, new caliper, switch the hose, and we're done. Okay, so slight change of plans. As I was setting up to film the second half of the front brakes, it decided to start raining. And so I had to throw my light and my phone and the GoPro in the house really quick so I couldn't get them wet and throw the car back together kind of fast. So I'm sorry I didn't get to film that, but it is together and bled now. So I took it out for a drive. I've already bedded the brakes in. So I would have some sort of an idea of what they would do. Now, what I do to bed in new brakes is I'll generally take it to around 35, 45 miles an hour and do two sort of moderate stops. Then I'll get up something above 55 and do a couple hard stops with a minute or two in between each so that the rotors don't get too hot. You do wanna be pretty easy on pads the first couple days that they're on your car just to let them bed in well so that they don't cause any problems, you don't glaze them, anything like that. But the most important question left in this video is to answer, are these brakes any better than the stock 05 brakes that I took off? And the short answer I think is yes. The long answer is, let's look at different aspects. Weight wise, I think they're about the same. The rotors felt similar, the calipers felt similar. These are cast calipers, they're not aluminum calipers like the F-Body upgrade. So you're probably not saving any weight with this brake upgrade versus stock. But obviously not having warped rotors makes the car feel a thousand times better. Other than that, it's got about the same bite, but these are not bedded in yet. So that may actually grab better once they are bedded in, but pedal feel is definitely improved. And I know that the other brakes, the rotors were warped, so that's gonna probably make the pedal feel worse than normal. But I feel compared to the other stock Grand Prix brakes that I have driven on that were not warped, like the, for example, the 97s, I would say brake pedal feel on this car is a little bit better, a little more direct. So overall, it was a fairly mild improvement, but they do look better. And I feel that the, the upgrade in general would be a lot better with the police package brakes if you were to actually upgrade to the larger ones, but it looks like you are gonna need 17 inch wheels to do that. So I can't do that now. I'm certainly not saying that I'm gonna put 17 inch wheels on this car since that probably wouldn't make a lot of sense. But let's just say hypothetically I did put 17 inch or bigger wheels on this car. I believe I would definitely pay the extra money to get the bigger rotors and the other brackets because that extra height on the rotor there, I do think would make it grab better. And I think with that addition, this upgrade would be really noticeable. It's still noticeable, but it would be more noted. So that's that. Either way, another improvement, the 05 is one step further to becoming a decent car. So I hope you guys learned something from this. 
And as always, I appreciate you watching. If you learned anything, hit that like button down there. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you've hit the notification icon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And peace.